Hey, I'm William from the Zombie Star, and this is part two of our playthrough of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I was calling it Fallen Jedi in part one, so sorry about that. This game's called Fallen Order. So, um, I found a way to actually, um, to personalize or kind of like, you know, alter the look of the of the lightsaber, which I think is pretty cool. The only other game that I remember that did this for lightsabers is Knights of the Republic. Um, I don't think you could have done this in Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I don't think so. But I remember in Star Wars The Force, uh, uh, the Old Republic, you could uh, change the color of your, of your blade. You can actually change the crystal in the hilt of the blade, which uh, allowed different attributes and um, abilities, depending on which crystal you used. Um, I think I'm gonna, so far the colors are here. I'm seeing a lot of premium content. So I guess the stuff that you can buy, I'm just gonna stick to the core stuff or whatever I can unlock. Um, we're gonna stick with blue, you know, like classic Obi-Wan and Anakin style uh, Jedi Knight colors. Uh, a lot of this is premium content. So I probably need to unlock a lot of this stuff, but I just think that's so cool when the Star Wars game allows you to just uh, <clears throat> alter the look of your, of your saber. So far, it just looks aesthetic. I don't know if you can, you can change it to add attributes or buffers or, or things like that to your abilities. Okay, so, Cal Kestis running from the Empire well after Order 66, and uh, he's just trying to survive. <clears throat> and really just trying to unlock the mystery of kind of who he is and uh, really on that mission of restoring uh, the Jedi Order. I think it wants us to go this way. We met BD1. Okay, so the block function is also like a flashlight function. The practical uses of a lightsaber. Okay, I'm gonna climb up this thing. Part one I felt went okay. I, I died because I just jumped in the wrong direction. Um, but that was really just a long tutorial of the game. I think now my skills are going to be put to the test here. Okay. So that looks dangerous. Someone needs to put up a sign. Alright, I'm going to hit it with my safe. I probably should have seen that coming, but I didn't. Yeah, I'm all right. <clears throat> okay, to heal. In Miles Morales, I think it was the down button. Here it's the. Oh, you push like up and you. You're full of surprises. Gives you a vial of the good stuff. <sighs> That's better. Very Thanks, trusting. little droid. I just met this droid, bro. Okay, let's try <clears throat> this again. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Here, hop on board. In the Luke and Yoda moment there. So, how'd you get here? As, uh, I don't remember. Yeah, so you hit one and he I've never known you, a forgetful droid. Gives you some drugs. Can't argue with that. Okay, I'm guessing this is a way to get up and back up here. Hey, a chest. And now we're finding I think the chest. I would mind if we grab some and, some, and some looting opportunities in this game, which what do we you know I love. New emitter, the Eno Cordova. Cool, so we're gonna be picking up pieces that we can add to our lightsaber to change the aesthetic. I don't know yet if it's gonna allow me different abilities or kind of buffer to my stats. Um, what was the other one? Oh yeah, so now he's not busy. I can see this map. Which honestly, it looks confusing. Okay, let's go up. That's where we need to go. I can feel it. Okay, so we need to head to that building. That's a dragon. It's a space dragon. Alright. 
I might have to deal with that later. That's a really big Handle bug. the crabs here. I really want to practice on my combat because. Oh, that felt cool. See, I really want to get used to this button and even uh, and even transitioning between targets because I think that's just going to be so important when I'm getting into. Oh man, there's a chest over there. Should I stay on target? Yeah, I'm not gonna clear that. Okay, I'll probably just die. I'm gonna ignore it. Okay, that dragon is really worrying me. I have no quarrel with you, creature. Alright. Let's take the ride. <clears throat> so apparently we're here looking for either a Jedi or some relic. Jedi relic or something. You mapped everywhere we've been. Thank you, BD1. You are what is to come with uh, Google Maps. I can't make it over there. We gotta find another way. So this is where we're headed. Where are we, though? BD1, where is the... Yeah, okay, main objective is the Rebel Insignia. But I don't see where we are on the map. Can you climb this? No, this is not climbable. <clears throat> and... I don't know what to do. Whoops, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, wait. I'm gonna surprise attack. Sweet chest. Come on, BD1, do you think? Where you going? I think that's a really cool little. That's a funny little feature. Like just what is it? runs in there and rummages through everything because Cal can't do it for some reason. Who knows? All right, I'm gonna check to see if I have any points to spend. I'm not gonna save the game. Am I going all the way down there? Ah, so we learned that Cal has his ability to kind of extract. Cool was used by someone eager to reach um, the vault. Memories or moments or instances with objects that have come into contact with the Force or a Force user. Uh, this is similar to something that Ray had in. Um, Force Awakens. She touches a lightsaber when she went to go visit Maz Kanata and she had like this vision. So apparently she has something similar to what Cal has. Which is pretty cool. And probably going to be a way to um, just to get more lore and backstory in this game. Uh, take me to the skill tree. Oh, I have no points. So what am I doing? Don't want to rest. So this just saves the game. I don't want to rest because it will actually generate um, the enemies again. All right, I'm going to look real cool doing this. That was cool. That's a big monster over there. Oh my god. Run for it. Yeah, no problem can do that. Okay, that did freak me out. That monster can't climb, right? Wow, here's another safe spot. I feel they're pretty generous with these safe spots, so, but I'm pretty sure it's for a reason. Um, probably gonna die a lot. See a lot of enemies. There's a chest over there. Man, I feel like there's just so many opportunities for me to get sidetracked here. And as a avid MMO player, I can get sidetracked. Can you take damage? Whoa! 
Alright, so my dodge and hit is... Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, come on. Oh, come on, man. Okay, I'm just pretty much hit and run this guy. What in the world did he just do? Oh my god. Okay, I got him. I can't believe that. That scared the hell out of me. That was pure just like fight or flight um, reaction there. But I got a skill point off this ugly thing. BD1. <sighs> Why can't we just have Ewoks everywhere? Hey, but I'm not dead. So, okay, so I have two vials. Let me take one now. Will help. And apparently what's going on here is they replenish. I'm hoping they do. <clears throat> Can't get it to work. But I wonder how long it takes to replenish or what I do to replenish that. Um, those vials. I so want to climb this, but no. Oh, knowing me, I'll fall. Oh, let me go to that place where I was at. Wow, this game is starting to give me those you know, vibes of like an open world MMO, kind of like running around Mass Effect and you can't ever get the objective done because you want to visit every single planet on the star map. Alright. Ninja attack. You know, and I'm not using my force. As much as it should. It really slows him down. That can really come in handy. Uh oh. Where is he? Where is he? God, these even the kill mechanics are pretty darn good. Like the way the uh, eye kind of responds to the hits. Maybe BD1 is scanning a lot of stuff. I hope it goes to... See, there's a bar that just came up up there. What is that? Like, my knowledge bar? Wow. So if you want to learn about the fish of this planet, you can. That's totally an option in this game. Salamanders... That something big and spidery is Don't fall behind, BD1. See something in there? Dude, I saw Indiana Jones. I know what's coming. Told you not to take that vial that BD1 gave you. Look at you now. Oh, this looks like wall running. Oh, okay, that's gonna be useful. Yes, the Again, this game kind of shows how it seem takes a lot of these mechanics that work in other games. The force as your ally, you will overcome any and you're really just throwing them all in you this game. This is like path. what you could do and the most fun thing to do in Prince of Persia. Do what you must to reach me. <clears throat> but I wonder if it does it slow down time just like Prince of Persia. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Only I could mess that up. Okay, so initial jump helps because it kind of gets you. Oh crap! Sorry, master. I failed the dream. The force is my ally. Dream lesson. Just remembering old tricks. So okay. See? It's a good thing I didn't try to climb it. These are for running. 
Oh, does it want me to go all the way to the top? Oh! Oh, man! Can I make it up there? I'm gonna try that again. I feel like I almost had it. Ah, oh, no, I don't, no way. I don't think so. No, I'm gonna be here for like 30 minutes trying to ninja guide in my way up there. What? What did you find? I hope we don't need to stop at everything that BD1 wants to look at. You're like a kid at a theme park. Oh, I guess I gotta use the wrong one how to get out of here. I still wanna try it again, but I have a feeling I'll just be here forever. Wow, man. It's almost like levitate for a bit. Think you can show me that shortcut again? Well, now that we can wall run, okay, green is available, so we can go through there, but there's green here too. Alright. Oh no, looking at the thing makes me dizzy. Oh yeah, now we're gonna wall run to some loot. This is gonna be like a thing in the game where like you're gonna have like wall running challenges. That was awesome. That was really cool. This area was used for and meditation. Yeah, this game is just really, really I'm good at just implementing the just all the fun parts of previous games all into just one system. It's pretty impressive, and it worked really well. Get up there, cow. Quit messing around. You see, I totally forgot what was my objective. Oh, wait. I got stuck at... Hey, I saw something... up there. So apparently it's only those walls, though. All right, I'm gonna get over there. Oh, that is so cool. I don't know why I'm just enjoying wall running right now. Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant. Have you a Jedi that can do it? They're frustrated with the Jedi Council. You guys know a Jedi that can wall run? Let me know. I think Caltest is the first of its kind. Alright, do I oh I have a skill point. Let's spend it. <clears throat> so I'm pretty getting pretty good with my overhand, my overhead slash. I was studying these a bit ago and I do want something. Um no, but you know what? Since I already have something that's more offensive, I should go with something for defense. Like, see, I can raise maximum force for Cal, or I can do what the common sense thing, which increases life, given the sense that I'm just going to be taking a lot of hits. I might as well be able to take more before going down. Okay, so his max life increased. I wish I could. Can I upgrade BD1? See, and from here, I can go to a more superior blocking. I'm gonna want that also. Leaping Slash. This could be very useful to kind of uh, close the gap between opponents quickly and kind of get uh, kind of like a little surprise attack on them, but 
We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Okay, so now that I can wall run, look at this. Yeah, yeah. Loot. Hey. Get in there, BD1. What's that, BD1? Now I want to go fight the dragon. I can wall run now, man. Ready to fight you. Um. Wait, this is the green part, right? Yep. Sweet. So it seems like a lot of this is also like unlocking the map and just like getting it. Um, oh my god. Okay, I'm getting hit. I'm getting my ass kicked by a crap. Dude, that was annoying. Another one? Scan him, BD1. Well done. A lot of practical reason, uh, uses for BD1, but he's he's shit in the fight. Oh my god. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, that was nice. Okay, block is going to be a very important. Uh, element of fighting here. Oh crap. Get him in the lair. Whoa! You sneaky monkey. You're gonna get forced and then slashed. I just came from down there. Oh. Kills your friends. I'm here for you. I'm totally going sip off these little things. Alright, gotta stay on the light side. Is it just. Uh, it seems like that's a thing to do. The crabs and games are just the most annoying things in, the, in, 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 in that world. It, it works for Elder Scrolls. Those mud crabs are brutal. That does look awesome, though. So I'll call him Ed. All right. Moving on. I'm holding down the X to do that. I don't know if that's actually necessary. All right, wall running. Something I feel I've mastered. If I would have fallen, that would have been hilarious. Okay, looks like we're here. Are you see there? Let's do it, BD1. That was a race. He never got off my back. We're not finished yet. Okay. okay. <laughs> I wonder if that Probably glitched. You're won. supposed to race me. Dude. Probably. Okay, let's go ahead and save here. I'm gonna be using the save function a lot. I'm just worried about bad things happening. Wait, I didn't have any coins to spend, right? It seems the looting and the scanning is just going to be a big thing here. Which I'm okay with, but it can really take up a lot of time. <clears throat> this is reminding me of Mandalorian. You haven't seen it. Too bad. Um, where Grogu kind of calls the... Uh, they go to that temple and shoots that thing into the sky. <clears throat> kind of like an all-call the Jedi. I wonder if this is something small. Yeah, let's just go down the scary... Dark cave. Amazing. I'm gonna fight something big in here. Look at this. Oh. That stupid dragon is gonna come in here. I don't know how I feel about that. You alright, BD? Who is this? Whoever you are, 
You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your oh, yeah, name, piece of but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi or her lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. He's massively out of not trust blinking. this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Of course, that is the narrative Go for every single Star Wars homework. movie that we know. There, the most critical component is always a part of the joy. BD-1, R2-D2. And luck, now... Jedi. No, BD-8. Yeah, you. and BD-1. I feel like I can predict every single Star Wars plot from now on. Just get the droid. End the movie. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. Of course you were. You're the droid. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine? I kind of love it. This is... <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of weird, though. Isn't this... Um... Isn't this Luke's story? You know what I mean? I mean, they could have easily replaced Cal with just Luke Skywalker. And the narrative would have been the same. In the sense that he's looking for other Jedi's and trying to um, I wonder if there was anything there I should have scanned. No, I'm not going back. I think I found what you wanted me to see. And you know, kinda like he's traversing Sounds the like universe we'll be in look of force in look of, in search of force sensitives. I don't know, I just thought of that. Ugh. Alright, dude, let's go, you space turd. Why are you not responding? Oh, crap. Ah, uh, come on, I blocked that, dude. Ugh, you know what? I'm doing it way too early. Oh, that stunned him. Whoa! Oh my god, I missed him. Go to sleep, sir. Hey, that was... That was kind of epic, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a highlight. Alright, you're not gonna give me anything? You're just gonna... Stare at <laughs> These uh, character models are pretty damn good. I gotta say, that thing looks horrifying. And you kind of kicked my ass. Okay, I'm going back to the ship. I'm kinda done with this place. How the hell do I get back? Where's the ship? Okay, the ship is... It's over there, so I don't think those work what I'm thinking. Like it won't take me up. 
Right? But then again, I mean, it is Star Wars. Oh, hey, what's in here? Then the workshop. Can I lift rocks like Ray's party trip? Oh, wall running opportunity. I almost totally botched that. It's weird, like it. Whoa. Unless I was supposed to go down this way. My friend. It appears the Cepho had some interest in death up here. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. I wonder if this game plays with um kind of like player choice and how it affects the outcome of the game. Um, that was a critical element in the KOTOR games. Hey, oh, you know what? Let's go. Luck, no, 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 I don't want to do this. Darn it, Cal. Uh, let's go add some stuff to my saber. Um, and I wonder if this is going to have, even in Mass Effect, you know, the choices you make kind of, of course, affect the outcome of the story, but also affect the even the appearance of the character. And um, in Knights of Republic, you kind of get, you can get like those pale white eyes and like dark skin or like pale skin um, if you go down like the dark path, you know? <clears throat> I wonder if friend, there's player choice here. Examinations of the sphere proved fruitful. All right, you just keep talking. I need to see what I can add to my saber. So, I th now I'm still going to stick with blue. If purple is a thing, I will totally change it to purple. Um, yeah, Mace Windu's has got to be the best saber out there. So this is the Eno Cordova. It looked like a piece of the saber that I have. It looks like Luke's also. I, I don't like it. I kind of like that, you know, that look of a blade coming out of that chamber. Oh, this is cool. Valor and Wisdom. So far, I don't think it's doing anything to my stats. Yeah, why not? Looks like a cool grip. And I don't have anything to change the alloy metal. Cool. It's the same color, Cal. Relax. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's why I did this. It's so weird, like, he wants to scan everything, but that is so easy to miss, though. There's not a lot on the hub, which, you know, it's give and take, depending on the game. Like, I think it's a popular thing to do, to have as little on the hub um, for a game. Kind of, like, you minimize that user interface so that you can have more just that... Uh, graphic look and cinematic look and everything, but sometimes you really need that information though. Hey, I'm going back the way I came. Darn it. Think I'll make it? There's only one way to find out. <gasps> oh my god. I made it. I don't know I'm going the right way, though. Oh my god, I'm so far away from my ship. Okay, I feel like I'm going back. Take me back. I may fast forward this part. This is going to take too long. And that did take long, so... I went ahead and cut it, and I kind of found... 
a way back. That map is not helping me at all. But we've made it back to this stupid hey. ship. This stupid planet. Moving out. A bunch of stupid things on it. But it is amazing though. <clears throat> the test. So you knew about PD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. PD1, this is Grace. Hey, Grace. Been gone, like, for what a is while. that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Go. Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's got droid he's issues. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patrolling me fabric? Not really. really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It's always a holocron. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. In a droid. The next generation of no, Jedi. Maybe. I knew it! But still. Oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. That little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Oh, that looks like the thing Here's Kylo the Ren had when he was looking for Exegol. Wasn't it like this little box that he had? This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Oh my god, that was old. We even With sounded like you and McGregor. sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, yeah, I could eat. before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that this is something that's also changed my perspective. Never seen in the so films, I at least cut myself films. off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? That motion caption is amazing. I mean, even for the, even for the alien species. Mirror Zepho, it's your choice. Wow. Beautifully rendered. So the ability to break yourself off from the Force, something that I have not seen in films, but it's pretty common in games. It helps the mechanic. Uh, Cal Kestis, Revan, and even Starkiller from the Force Unleashed all initially have this... They're removed from the Force for some, for some reason, some way. They're removed from the Force. Um, and their connection is broken from the Force. So as a character, as a video game, you build up back their powers and their abilities and... Um, and stuff like that, but I've never really seen a Jedi that can do that. That can willfully. You've never seen a terrarium before. Break sure, themselves off their connection to the plants in them. I can well, plant I've stuff. I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy, but you know you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you bet you. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarrassed glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. That is pretty cool. Maybe it'll allow me like healing more healing uh, potions or potions uh, oh I didn't know there was a meditation chamber back here and somewhere to mod my lightsaber awesome do I have skill points no I do not so I'm not going to uh, need that all right so let's go on I think mechanically it, it's necessary for a game, you know, for the character to cut themselves off from the force. But just, I want to know if that's like a legit ability. 
there are two cool. Hidden. So this is something again borrowed from Mass Effect. At least I know it was a lot of games do this actually, but I think Mass Effect for me was really the first time where you got that cool hollow map of like different planets and you pick which one you want to go to. Um, and like I said, this is starting to feel more and more um, open world as you can choose to either go to Dathomir or Zepho. You know what? I'm going to go... If I do have choices here, I'm definitely going to want to follow the, the Rebellion and kind of be a, a good guy. I want I want to know if this is... Oh wow, there's even how many secrets you've uncovered from the planet, how many chests, and how much of it has been explored. And it seems like you can just visit and go back to the planets whenever you need to. But like I said, let's just try to stick to the narrative here. So let's go. Let's go to Zepho. Ah, Zepho. My favorite Unless place. I feel it's absolutely necessary, like with Miles Morales, I will do side missions and things like that just to progress and advance when my character. When it's all over, I think it'll be time to settle down, you know, fall in love, start a family. Love? For you? You? That's yeah, good. you think a guy like me doesn't know love? I bet you're gonna tell me. Let me tell you. Strange it's the best, dialogue, but, but it's a lot wonderful. of work. It needs admiration, devotion, attraction, and respect. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Please. That's actually very insightful. Yeah, well, it comes with experience. <laughs> Can't look this good and not steal a few hearts. <laughs> oh my god, forget <laughs> Star Fox. Look at this. Can I sit in this chair? Time to land. Get up here. Oh. Look of a storm brewing down quick. there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. There's Do literally the storm there? right there. Copy that. So just fly into it. Oh. Couple bombs ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything is under problem control. With droids. It's under so control. It's just a little tricky. Anti. -droid. Oh, oh okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Gosh, when huh. it comes to aesthetic wise, this has got to be the most. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference Star Wars, in the palms. Yeah. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I think the coolest is always I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Both Good. Cuts, right? I'll be in touch once I crack this. All right, so they're gonna be cracking things, and I'm gonna be out here light sabering stuff. Over here. You did good work on Bagano. Hold that thought. Yeah, this is starting to feel like Mass Effect. You know when. Uh, you land at every planet, you always, um, and it, you land there and you just kind of begin exploring and just run into whatever comes your way. And getting loot. Hey now. This is going to be so fun. What do we find? Blue leader. Oh, for BB-1, let's switch him up. Let's see. BB-1, BD, BD-1. Uh, I think the yellow looks cool. I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, let's make him yellow. The Mantis. No way, that reminds me of Phantom Menace. That will keep you blue. No way. It looks like he has a trash bag on. I'll keep, I like the poncho, but I'm keeping that color. Unless something cooler comes along. More robe-like. Okay, I'm going to try not to spend too much time looting, but I'm, sometimes it's not going to be able to help myself. What is that? That was like a little dog or something. Alright, I don't even know, like, I'm so excited, I don't know where it is. Let's go in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's 
skin. Thanks for the help. I think we need to talk, BD1. You're addicted. Come back here. The scanning. Did you find something, BD1? Oh, I got poncho material. Let's go check that out. First, let me loot around. It just felt like a tremor through the controller. Is there like a Titan here? Rankers. I hate Rankers. That seems the lighting here really changes though. It's that indestructible cloth. Hey, that's... There's stormtroopers here. Oh, I like it. <laughs> A little bit of Daryl Walking Dead. Let's do it. Oh, no. That's not how you open doors, Cal. Doors locked from the other side. Of course it is. Yeah, I keep feeling this tremor like something big is walking. That's not a good sign. Okay, those, there's demon dogs here. Oh, they're messing a stormtrooper up. No, y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. Watch out, BD. Oh, crap. They don't look friendly. Oh, my God. He's bitten. These things are vicious. The creatures are getting uglier. They're not getting any better. What? Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. Look at that scenery. Oh, that is awesome. Wow. That is super cool. Come here, BD1. Alright. Let's do it, bro. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. Nope! Yeah, take that. Yeah. Where's your friend? There it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, these things cling on you. Are they finished? Alright. Again, BD1, you're always you're always there for a friend. Huh? Yeah, you scan, I kill. I'll check it out. Let's see how this relationship is gonna be. Oh, this almost looks like the planet Luke was on, but I don't think that was the name of the planet, it wasn't Zepho. Something's gonna pop out and bite me. <sighs> what the hell? That's a crying baby. Mother used this fabric to keep her child warm. They were on the run from something. And the other plan was supposed to be evil. Okay, I did not know that they also including elements of dead space in here. Okay, if I jump... Uh, I meant to do that. Stim crate. Should be here. Oh, nice. Does that more? mean I get a third one? Thanks, BD1. I hope it means now he gets. I get three instead of just two. Those little cinematics are beautiful. Yep. Awesome. Maximum number of stim canisters increased. Good to know. 
Now how do I get out of this horrifying cave? was so random, but I really love how games do that. You just kind of get lost and you find awesome stuff. Alright, so where are the stormtroopers at? They weren't in the cave of horrors, that's for sure. Sweet. Okay, so I'm just like opening up the map here. Okay, so there's a door right here. Was this... I think, yeah, I think we already went there. I have not gone this way. Okay. Come on, little rat. Oh, okay, we got some troopers here. Did they see me? Oh, that was cool. Yeah, if you time that block just right, it just bounces right back. Come on here, BD1. That was a headshot. Alright, is there loot? Is there loot? This looks climbable. Oh yeah. Totally did not know that was there. Oh. Alright then. I'm loving the poncho though. Good choice. What is it? A new emitter required. Duty and resolve. But do they do anything though? Like, I'd like to increase the chance of, like, um, you know, that ricochet shot. Or, of course, more uh, damage points. A warning. Does Cal have a problem with rifles? I mean, Jedi's use guns, right? You know, Obi thinks they're. Not civilized. Oh, I think I did that too quick. No, I'm gonna wait till it goes away. I'm gonna wait till now. Sweet. Did they see me already? I'm gonna try to ninja them. Oh my god. Okay, there's quite a few. Uh, if there is a sneak option, I completely forgot how to do it. I think I'm just gonna totally rush this. Yeah. Look out! I'm sure we'll beat you. Get up here. Ooh. Let's go. I can't keep track of him. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let me get the hit. Boom. Oh Alright, I'm not targeting them though, which is really going to throw me off. In a lot of ways he's facing the wrong direction, but if you hit that, if you hit R3, he stays locked on target. I knew that was intentional. That feature. Stay on target. Take her and go. I'll lead them away. I'll start. No! Did we get all stormies? Whoa, 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 what was that? Darn it, dude. You just scan away, okay? That's all lies. The Empire just wanted this land. Blast them! Dude, they left you all alone and you got blasted in the face. <laughs> Stormtroopers suck. Not pliable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. The fight mechanics, I mean, not only are they fluid, but they just feel really good. And so rewarding when you hit that perfect, uh, that parry and that, um, counter-strike. Because he can, like, strafe in any direction, and even, I think he can go back. Uh, but I probably gotta be locked on a character. Oh, crap! 
dude, did not see you there. <clears throat> you died anyway. Snapples. Do they see me already? Look out! Whoa. Get eyes on him. Someone, Where you at? Shoot! It's hard to crash. Oh, Boom. Oh, those guys look like they mean business. I wanna go fight. Oh. Okay. What is it? Let's go. Jedi, engage with caution. Oh, crap. Get the target. All squad is down. Oh, that was cool. That was a mix of like using the force and my new abilities. Do you know what? I want to go back to this over here because there was something over here. Alright, let's try to just... Oh, crap. I think this is just doubling back to probably my ship. Do I want to save? Do I want to save? Yes, I do. I bet you that's one of the other hangers. I got one point. Okay, so what did I say I wanted to do? Superior blocking. Cal defenses are improved, allowing him to take less damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Um, just being more offensive here, or defensive here. Because I need to start including. I don't wanna get too confident and start taking hits because they're pretty bad. And even a blaster shot throws you off. I knew it, it's a hanger. Yeah, so a shortcut. That is really cool. This game has really thought of everything. When you really think about it. One minute to check something. Okay. Um, but that's really going to make navigating these maps a lot easier. Because, I mean, I could go back and work on my saber if I wanted to, or... Where are you taking us? The Empire's forced the villagers from their homes. Frightened refugees. Shipped off to work camps, or worse. All right, I think I need to drop this thing. No. Nope. So what does it want me to do? Well, obviously it's blocked. Uh, okay, what can I wall run or? It looks like it's up there. Okay, I'm gonna go back to where I was. <clears throat> where the stormtroopers were. Oh, perfect, right here. Latches on. Oh, nice. Yeah, those, those, the, these climbing and jumping mechanics are so Nathan Drake. Hello. Don't mind me. I can't do this by myself. <laughs> I'm kind of getting really used to that. <clears throat> Come back here. Something we can use? Okay, and time has actually flown by uh, in this part. <clears throat> this game is just getting really exciting. 
Um, let's see what's over there. If that's a safe spot, we're just going to go ahead and save there. Oh, but not before I ninja this guy. Sorry, dude. I should have requested the day off. Oh! Oops! Okay, wait. Totally had a button mishap there. I almost do not want to end it here. What's on the other side? Alright, let's go. I want to see what's over here real quick, and then we'll call this uh, part two for Endgame for Star Wars uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Scoundrel must be repaired to operate this device. Oh, okay, so I need to repair something in order to use that thing. Alright, so yeah, we'll save that for next time. Let me go to the uh, meditation uh, place. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, uh, this is part two. We'll be up. Uh, we'll put up part three probably in about a week or so. Um, stop by our website. Check that out. And I'll see you guys uh, back in Endgame, part three, uh, in about a week or so. Thank you guys for watching.